let me put it this way. I was selective with who I told past messages onto. I could fully disclose this now. I mean, like, the Undertaker is the Undertaker. I watch the referees too because that was what I did. So, so when I watch a wrestling show, it doesn't matter whether it's WWE or AEW or Impact or whoever, I do pay attention to the referees. And I think that to a large extent, I don't know if it falls upon the referees solely on them, but maybe the talent too who don't realize how to utilize a referee properly sometimes. But the referee is there to help the talent tell their story not be the story, but help them tell their story. It's almost like you're a supporting actor in a play. These guys are the stars, these guys are the main focus. You are there to help them get to their destination and be sort of invisible until you need to be visible and at the same time not be a distraction from the match. For lack of a better term, they want to be so much in the spotlight that they're forgetting to do their job, if that makes sense. It's not, not a, not all of them, but there are a few that are like that. And, and, I, and I get the idea of sometimes uh, some promotions like to use their referees in certain ways. To me, that just takes away from things. Uh, you know, it's fun to have your little moment. But at the same time, it's not about you. It's about the talent. You're not drawing an audience. It's the guys in the ring that are drawing an audience. Before you'd have talent communicate to you, what they wanted to do and sometimes you'd have to transfer that message back and forth between the between the wrestlers now you're sometimes getting instructions from the producer or the uh the agent from the match hey tell those guys to do this and you're thinking okay now i have to discreetly tell these guys how to do this while cameras are all around you especially now where there's cameras everywhere you know so it became a challenge but um, you get used to it after a while like anything else let me put it this way i was selective with who i told past messages onto. I could fully disclose this now. I mean, like, The Undertaker is The Undertaker. Um, when somebody would say, whoever the producer is, would, would buzz me in my ear and say, hey, tell Undertaker to, to, to do that. And I'd be like, yeah. Uh, so now I have to creatively find a way to look like I'm passing a message onto him when I'm not. Because it's The Undertaker, I'm not passing a message. He's already got his own mind made up what he's gonna do and he doesn't need to be told. So it would be like, okay, tell The Undertaker to do this, and I'd lean over and go, okay, six more minutes, or something like that, you know? I'd just pass a time cue, and just to make it look like I passed the message, but... Oh, uh, some guys would get upset when you'd, uh, you'd pass me. I remember uh, WrestleMania 21, Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio opened up, uh, and um, the story of the match was Eddie constantly getting more frustrated every time he attempted to pin Rey and beat him. And every time Ray kicked out, he would get more and more frustrated. And the producer in the back kept telling me, tell Eddie to show more frustration. And I'm like, okay. So I kind of, the first time I passed the message, I said, Eddie, uh, and I mentioned the producer's name. Well, I'll say it, Dean Malenko. Uh, Dean said, show more frustration. And Eddie shot me that look. And I went, okay. So another false finish, Ray kicks out and Dean says, Tell Eddie, he's got to show more frustration. And I'm like, okay. Uh, so I lean in and I said, uh, Eddie, Dean says, so I'm making sure that he knows it's coming from him and not from me. Dean says, show more frustration. And then I came a third time and I'm like, do I or don't I? I said, I'm, I'm going to take the chance. I'm going to say it one more time. Okay, Eddie, as soon as I said, Dean said, he turned to me and I won't say it here. He's just turned to me and said, shut that up. And I'm like, okay, shutting me up. And that was it from there. <laughs> and then afterwards, of course, he came to me. I'm sorry, man. I don't mean to, to yell at you like that, but you know, I'm, I'm going through the match in my head and I'm trying to think out the next thing I'm going to do. And then you tell me that. So I said, okay, I'm just trying to do my job. He goes, I get it, I get it, but don't. nothing personal. But So then I became selected. You start to realize who you can pass messages to and who you can't, or shouldn't, anyway. Not can't, shouldn't.